Hi guys, and welcome to another edition of Zupo's SEO Talk of Tea. Today's conversation, look through your old blog posts for potential SEO wins. The reason why I want to talk about this is SEO is difficult. There's a lot of resources that are needed, and sometimes it can be a great you know, uh, value add just to go through your old blog posts to identify you know, SEO wins there. But before we begin, I want to introduce the tea we have today. Today we have an Imperial Green Tea from Mayleaf. This is a tea that I drink I don't drink green tea as much as I used to, but I do drink it every time it's you know really hot, which is an example of today. Um, or I just want something a little bit more mellow. Green tea isn't to me as strong anymore. Uh, it's more of like I like to you know settle down and mellow down with some tea that I may have some green tea. But let's go ahead and get brewing it, chatting. So why do I talk about looking through old blog posts for SEO wins? So you know, when it comes to SEO, like I said in the intro of the video, you know, it takes a lot of resources. You have to go out there, you have to link build, you have to outreach, you have to, you know, provide value to the community, you have to add more content to your website. It can be really resource intensive to start ranking. Now, what we have found with our clients is that sometimes old blog posts are a great treasure trove of possible opportunities. Um, we have worked with clients where we, they've written blog posts where it was just like a random whatever another blog post and all of a sudden it's starting to rank really well and if you're not you know kind of monitoring old blog posts you may be unaware so what we have found is if we kind of go through your old blog posts and then monitor for you know what you know those blog posts might be ranking for potential keywords and when we say like ranking for they don't even need to be on the first page it's like you'd be surprised sometimes blog posts will rank on the second or third page for different keywords and that might be a signal for you hey we just randomly wrote this blog post and now all of a sudden we are now on the second or third page right and so that might be an indicator to you like hey maybe if we double down on it we can start ranking on the first page so what i'm going with this it's always good to audit your old blog posts and see what they're ranking for and you can use a combination of you know hrs SEM rush or a search console you can even use search console to some some extent to find uh, what keywords uh, certain blog posts are ranking for and performing for and then therefore you can find what keywords might be a possible opportunity when we're doing SEO there's always thinking about growth what new keywords can we go for what new keyword opportunities are there so what what we like to do is go through old blog posts and the best thing to do is to not start from scratch if you can find opportunities that you're not you're already on like the first five pages and those are great ones to go for next because your site has already started to rank for those keywords. So in that case, I'd always recommend go through your old blog post, use Search Console, use Ahrefs, SEMrush, find the blog post and then look for keywords and then base, then look for the keywords they're already ranking for and then double down on that research. Are those keywords that you're ranking for relevant to you? Is the intent match? Is that keyword group competitive? Can I kind of go for the keyword group as a whole? It's always a good starter. Now, I would say, I want to warn, it, just because a blog post ranks for a keyword doesn't mean that that keyword automatically should be gone for it. Uh, there's many reasons why not. One, too competitive. Two, not relevant. Third, uh, just not enough volume, and so on and so forth. But I'd say you look at your old blog post for great inspiration on keyword research if you're starting a new keyword research campaign or you're looking for new opportunities for your website. Old blog posts. You know, they, they, they're there for a reason. You wrote the content, you might as well double down on them if you find the right opportunities. So I want to keep this video short. There's not much to really like, you know, uh, go more to detail about. I think it's pretty obvious. Go through your old blog post, look at what opportunities are there, and you'll find that you might great, find some great opportunities. I'm going to go ahead and pour out my tea, guys. If you guys found the video valuable, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks, everybody.